Hi everybody, Rudy here. Um, it's been a while. Don't really upload too many videos, um, but my son had encouraged me to, to make some more, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I recently upgraded my car audio uh, with a FIO external DAC, uh, the E10K slash TC, if I got that right. Um, and um, I was very excited with the results. So I thought I'd uh, do an updated video of what I have. Um, perhaps I, this may, you know, uh, encourage me to do some more. Uh, my focus uh, or goal is to uh, share my experiences of, of upgrading what I have in my car and hopefully it'll help uh, some people out there um, upgrade theirs um, and, and make some decisions because probably, you know, I fall into the same category as most of you guys. Um, you know, I'm on a fixed budget. Um, I, I have been able to fortunately make some nice upgrades over the years, but I try to calculate, um, you know, my decisions uh, on what I upgrade and try to make the best bang for my buck. You know, uh, we got to stretch, especially in this economy. Um, we have limited money and we want to make uh, good choices with uh, what we make. And there's a lot more questions and answers, um, as you all know. Um, and uh, so anyhow, and when I upgraded my DAC, um, you know, and trying to get the best quality, you know, I've upgraded my car and, and I was enjoying it. Um, and then um, you're always kind of wondering, am I leaving something on the table? Am I coming up short? Um, can it sound better? Um, what can I do? And um, stumbled across, like I said, for the most part, I've been running my car um, with my head unit through Bluetooth. Um, I bump between Spotify and Tidal. Um, I enjoy, uh, that's my primary source. And, and I really enjoy using those two because you can access, you know, most of your um, content and stream. But then I started to discover, well, you know, Bluetooth has a limited bandwidth and how you can stream from your uh, cell phone to um, your head unit and then push it through, you know, car, your car audio. And uh, then I learned uh, that Samsung Galaxies, probably iPhones as well, also have a limited, um, you know, uh, internal DAC uh, that limits uh, the, the stream capabilities of Tidal and or Spotify. Um, I think Tidal operates on a higher uh, sound quality. So I have uh, a kind of bump between those two, but I really enjoy the sound of Tidal. So that's one thing. Um, I think Tidal operates on a higher uh, bit rate. So you may want to uh, consider that. Uh, but um, if you were like me running um, streaming through uh, Bluetooth, um, you know, you, you're losing some there and uh, some sound quality there. So um, I then experimented with, I, I got the, I have an audio control uh, DM608. So I uh, bought the uh, the Bluetooth audio, the I think it's the AT or the BT24, and uh, which you can stream and it does. It did uh, increase the quality there, but I didn't like, um, you know, I don't know. I, there was something in, in how you have to set it up. I didn't quite enjoy uh, having to to bump between, you know, your uh, your settings, and um, you know, you're still like I said, running through Bluetooth from your phone to uh, the BT24 and so anyhow I surfing through the internet and YouTube and uh, you know I re do recall external DAX the Fios and all the other brands um, and but back then three years ago I mean it seemed like everything was way too expensive you're talking about $500 units external media players and other external DAX and um, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money anyhow Flash forward to today, discovered that there's these smaller, more affordable units and I gave it a shot. And so I wanted to uh, uh, let you know uh, that um, there's something out there that's affordable and um, the results are, I found very good. So um, we'll just go from there. All right, well, let's just do a quick summary of what I have. So at least we know what we're starting from. Um, this is uh, the Kenwood Exelon DDX 795 um head unit and from there it's uh linked up to the iDataLink maestro rr um 
along with the iDatalink Maestro Mustang kit. Up front I have the Morel Tempo Ultra 572 two ways. Um, the, um, I am running them passive uh, with a passive crossover. They are mounted behind uh, the door. Starting out with my DSP, I'm running the Audio Control DM608. And uh, as I mentioned before, I did purchase that new DAC. That is, that DAC is a FIO E10K-TC. And um, from there, um, what I'm doing, um, you know, I have running it um, with an aux coaxial out to the uh, coaxial input which is, I believe, channel 7 on the DM608. And it really improves uh, the qual audio quality, um, you know, well past CD audio, audio quality. For my mids and highs, um, I am running the Morel MPS 4.400 four-channel amp. For now, though, I'm only running um, the, uh, the front stage um, with the Tempos 572s in the front. Um, I have my rear fill uh, muted. Uh, for rear fill, I have um, uh, coaxial Morels, um, the five and a quarter inch. But for now, like I said, just uh, running the front uh, stage and muting the back. Next, um, I have uh, for running my sub, I have the Morel MPS 1.550. Um, it is in, running in uh, four ohm mode um, since I have a single Morel 12 inch sub in a GP audio glue it and screw it box uh, which is tuned to 32 Hertz um, and it sounds amazing um, much better uh, than those um, you know those pre-made boxes that you get from Sonic Electronics or or Crutchfield um, you're gonna get a far better box this is made out of birch 13 ply birch um, I stained it and um, you know great uh, great sound quality um, keep that in mind okay and I did mention my FIO unit um, at the beginning of um, which was my most recent upgrade and I will be uh, setting up a, a demo of that but let me speak about uh, or talk about uh, this FIO unit external deck and um, again I was you know searching uh, the internet t on ways to improve uh, the sound quality because you know it just seemed like it 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 wasn't quite there. Uh, CD listening to CDs on the Exelon is great. Um, you get excellent um, sound quality. But when I s would switch over to uh, say streaming Spotify um, via Bluetooth uh, from my Samsung Galaxy S20 to the Kenwood unit. Um, it was it wasn't bad it wasn't really bad but I kind of felt like you know it could be better isn't that the story of our lives uh, with with car audio um, and then um, and then I uh, bounced to title and and you can tell the difference with title title streams at a higher bit rate and um, streaming rate and the quality is much better but it wasn't quite translating uh, into the system so then I had bought the uh, on my DM608. They offer the I think it's the ATB24, um, which says that it operates on a higher bit rate, um, you know, via Bluetooth. So I tried that again, and it did. Imp I, I, I sense that it did improve the sound quality, especially like I said, running title. Um, you can hear the difference, but I it, I felt like it's just quirky on the setup, and so I wanted something, um, you know, a little bit hardwired traditional uh, uh, something that, that that could just be more direct um, than Bluetooth because I understood that uh, uh, via Bluetooth the phone I think is is what's holding up you know everything uh, the internal DAC um, you know uh, you know you have to go through mountains and valleys to to try to uh, get the best sound coming out of the 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 USB or the the C type external connector here and so anyhow then i discovered uh external dax and so of course then again there's so much out there and trying to decipher and figure out what's best for you i ended up uh, finding something very affordable um which in the, this file unit it does have the aux out um for um 
you know, and and then they do have a 3.5 um, audio out in the back. But um, I did notice that they had, um, you know, that that um, it's not optical, uh, but it's because uh, there's some units that do have optical out, and so the DM6 White has an optical in, but they do also have um, the um, God bless now I, I can't think of it, but the aux it's an auxiliary out um and uh anyhow this unit has it so does the dm608 and um you know it's a uh, coax there you go coax it does have a coax out and so does the dm608 a coax input so i was thinking heck you know let's i'm going to give this a shot this fio unit um uh again you know if you have to get the right setup in terms of um you know, uh, getting your little connections and, and I'll share with you, uh, what you need, uh, to run it. Um, and so, uh, again, this is the, you know, if you can see here, that's the file, uh, E10 KC dash TC unit for galaxy phones. And so, um, it can run with, uh, uh, Apple as well. But the, the 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 adapter that you need is this thing here, and this is a Mosswag unit, M O S W A G, and it's a, a Type C connector at the head, which t uh, connects to your phone. Then it has another. Uh, there's a Type C connector here, and then a USB um, A uh, connector here, and uh, but it's you need to do the search term with O T G. Um, uh, connector and what this does is um, the mini C the type C connector uh, you run a standard mini uh, your standard charge connector uh, and to uh, to run your power uh, not that this requires um, power uh, and uh, a USB connector for power because it can run off of the power off of your phone but this kind of ensures that it doesn't drain your battery on your cell phone as much. So you're, you're charging your phone and enhance, you know, making sure that you also have available, uh, plenty of available power for running this unit, not that you need it. But um, then this OTG um, allows for the data transfer to and from between uh, your cell phone and to the FIO unit. And um that's all you need you know just a type c to type um a connectors you need two of those uh the fio provides one so use that one and then you just get an extra one along with this uh, adapter here and you're set and good to go and um from my experience you'll notice immediately um that when running tidal uh it will increase like i said or play up to titles um you know stream capabilities and so you admit you just turn the music night and day you will notice a difference so um and i believe that's what i was missing in my unit and i know that uh there's guys out there um i think it's pss sound peter um, um across the ocean uh and in, in england uh he is one of the masters of, of of sound quality go check his channel out and you can see how they run their systems it's like you know the ultimate and uh, definitely not gonna. I'm not never gonna run anything like that. But um, I definitely want to uh, run something that I can afford. That um, you know where I felt like okay, um, I'm missing something, and I know there's something. Got to be something out there that can you know I can uh, get to that next level. And uh, this did it. All right. Well, that concludes my video for today. Uh, just wanted to uh, summarize basically. So it's the FIO F I I O. E10K-TC uh, um, portable DAC and um, again it works beautifully for my setup and meets my needs for now <laughs> until I find uh, something that oh I, I think there's something that I uh, that's reachable and could improve but for now the, um, you know great unit um, once you got it set up um, you know it can work in in car audio at first I was like because it's advertised um, to work with your uh, home setup, your computer, uh, laptop, um, USB-C out to a USB-A um, 
or I'm sorry, USB A in, in your computer and then to a C. Um, and um, so, but um, I did research and there's some guys out there that obviously use it in car audio, car audio and um, you know, so it does work. Um, you know, just, you know, find that cable um, and uh, get that set up. And I think that there was, if there's any issues, um, you know, you may at first, cause I experienced some little crackling and popping and, uh, but you have to go into your developer options as far as like, uh, at least with me, I have a Samsung Galaxy S20, um, into developer options and, um, under USB, um, uh, debugging, go in there and, uh, you know, clear the cache and that and reset and then, uh, re-engage it. And then it, it gets, it gets rid of it and haven't experienced any problems, um, since then. And from there, it's just beautiful, you know. Uh, clear audio especially in my subs um you know before it, it just seemed like you know it was very you know there was some muddiness not a lot of muddiness but some muddiness and then when you know uh and again that was on spotify too you know but when i switched to title and then got this DAC, it's like my low end has just cleared up and it's just you know everything is nice so look into that see if it works for y'all um if um, I'll do some follow-up videos, try to do um, a demo. Um, you know, it's, I don't, it's not possible to, or at least I can't find a way to video and stream at the same time on, on a cell phone. So I'll have a, I have another video camera that um, I'll use to try to uh, capture um, for a demo and also find some uh, copyright free music that's of quality on title. That's another thing that I had to look into. So sorry, don't have a demo right now, but I will follow up with that later. Um, I will also, you know, mind uh, watch some of those questions. I have received some questions on unrelated other matters. I'll take a look at those and then see if I can answer them um, in the future um, and uh, try to see if I can keep keep this going. We'll see. Anyway, I hope this helps helps somebody. Um, you know, that's all that it was because I know what it's like. You know, you're just searching the internet, searching the internet, searching YouTube, and just running a lot into, you know, unanswered questions or too much information and that matches your needs. And I, and I ran into this um, with me, you know, and, and with an external DAC and then finding something affordable. And so, um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free um, to ask and, and not that I'll know it all, but I can at least maybe look it up for you or, you know, lead you in the right direction. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. Thank you.